Hi guys, this is Lewis from Green Acres Music and today I'm going to be showing you Bullet For My Valentine's Tears Don't Fall on the acoustic guitar. First of all, you're going to be, be able to tune down to drop D, so what you're going to do is you're going to make your D string ring with your E string, so you play your D note okay, now you've got that sound then you're going to play the thick E string as well and tune it down till it rings go tune it down half a turn more so the string doesn't get caught in the nut then you go play the high D string again then you go tune it up to pitch like that now you're in drop D now for the main it's all the same chord formation but it's like sliding around here here and here First of all, I'm going to play it through for you, then I'll take you through the chord step by step. So starting off, we're going to be barring the bottom three strings, which is the D, the A, and the D. I'm calling this one the D because that's what's actually called in this tuning, but it's the E string in most other videos, but I'm going by the tuning sim. So we're going to bar those. We're going to take our ring finger and place it on the fifth fret of the um, G string. Then we're going to take our baby finger and put it on the 6th fret or the 2nd string and your 1st chord should sound like this okay, and it's played exactly like this what you do is you strum in the bottom strings 4 times first then after you strum the bottom strings 4 times you strum strings 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2 4 times so What you're going to do now is the um, same chord but you're moving your baby finger up to the 5th fret so you can get the kind of out of phase chord and so I'll play from the beginning again. Now you've got that chord, watch, watch this and I'll play it slowly. That's basically the beginning. Now, after you play that, it's a slide up to the fifth fret, and you've got the same chord formation. But you're not, but you're not doing in this. You only do the changing with your baby finger when you're on the third fret. So, um, from the beginning, it should sound like this so far. eight to twelve times whichever sounds better in your opinion you can make you can make the strums longer you can make it less it's completely up to you then we're going back to the beginning again of this riff then we're sliding back up here then we're sliding up to the seventh fret then we're sliding back down to the fifth then we're going back to our beginning note on the starting on the third fret from the beginning it should sound like this okay now once you've got that you're doing an E power chord just here and you're palm using it very gently so there is to it. 
So you're going to have your index finger on the second fret of the high D string. And you're going to block off the thick D string with your thumb. And you're going to play string 5 and 4 together, palm muted. All together, it should sound like this. That's Tears Don't Fall on the acoustic guitar. I hope this lesson has helped you um, learn a new basic song. Um, if you want to request any more acoustic songs, um, feel free, or, or electric songs. Um, just don't forget to tune down to drop D. Remember, strings ring together. Okay, just remember that. And that's tuning down from E standard. So you've got your E power chord. So from E, tune down to D. Then you've got drop D. That was a bit out of tune, but yeah, you've got your... It's a good song. Um, in the next acoustic lesson, I'm going to show you the acoustic version of Ashes Don't Fall by Bullet for My Valentine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and like I say in some other videos, just um, say where we can go better and uh, how you want us to improve. Um, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.